Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Francois with the Image Eye. Today, we are going to talk about Sony's brand new camera, the ZVE1, and why I think it's the perfect camera that I'm not gonna buy. So recently, Sony has been on a tangent, on a spree of releasing cameras that are geared toward the vloggers. We have the Sony ZV-1, we have the Sony ZV-E10, the Sony ZV-1F, and now we have the Sony ZV-E1. I mean, I just can't keep up with all of the ZV names in the series of cameras. So with the newest iteration of the ZV series in the ZV-E1, we have a full frame camera that is a mixture between the Sony A7S 3 and the ZV-1. This is the Sony A7S 3 and it came came out back in 2020. And when it came out, there was just a rave of excitement. Everyone was, you know, thanking the camera gods for delivering to us the perfect camera. And even though I didn't pick this camera up when it first came out, I eventually got it about a year later. And I can tell you that this camera has not disappointed me at all. The Sony a7S III is a full frame camera. That means you're going to need lenses to take with it. So wherever you go, especially when I'm traveling around Korea or anywhere else, I have to take this heavy camera, not too heavy, I work out, you know, I'm, I'm pretty strong, but I have to take the camera with me and I also have to take the lenses. So I decided to go ahead and purchase the Sony ZV-1, which is also a camera dedicated uh, for video but more specifically for vlogging. So when I saw the release of the Sony ZV-E1, I thought to myself, wait a second, this camera looks exactly as if my Sony A7S III and my Sony ZV-1 married each other and had a child. The body of the Sony ZV-E1 is a full frame body, but it's pretty small. It's significantly smaller than the A7S III. I believe the Sony ZV-E1 is the baby version of the Sony A7S III. Not as heavy as it, but still has the option of using interchangeable lenses with the mounts. When the Sony ZV-E1 came out, I did not like the camera. I spoke to one of my friends, his name is Sky. He's got an amazing review channel. Uh, you should check him out. I'll link his channel in this video. And we both were kind of confused because we're both A7S III owners and we both think the A7S III is God's gift to the photography world. Well, I'll admit we were hating on the camera. A7S III is a great camera. It's a fantastic machine to have. It's a wonderful tool and it just seemed as if Sony wasn't giving a lot of attention to this camera. We haven't had many firmware updates, so I don't know if this camera has been able to push its limits or not. So when we saw the Sony ZV-E1, we were kind of scared. We started to think that maybe Sony's going to end the A7S series pretty soon. So it just kind of didn't make sense to us. However, as we continued to talk and days passed and our vitriol began to calm down a bit, we started to think and we had more calm intellectual conversations about why Sony is releasing this camera. The Sony ZV-E1 is a better camera for vloggers who don't want to spend a lot of time in the post-production process. So like the Sony A7S III, the Sony ZV-E1 has a flip out screen, which is a really good deal. It's really cool to have a flip out screen so you can see exactly what you're doing if you decide that you want to, you know, vlog yourself or take content of yourself. It inherited the onboard microphone of the ZV-1. This microphone almost dropped the camera. This microphone is really, really good. It makes it so that you actually don't need to buy an external mic. Currently, I'm shooting this video on the FX30 and I'm using the Sony ECM B10. What I've seen on the reviews from other YouTubers, the audio quality from the onboard mic on the ZV E1 is just as good, if not better, as the external mic that I'm currently using. Another great thing about the Sony ZV E1 is that just like the A7S III, there are 12 megapixels, which makes it ideal for shooting content at night. I'm going to reach for my A7S III before I reach for any other camera, before I reach for the FX30, the ZV-1, the A7 IV, the A6400. I'm taking the A7S III because 
I know for a fact that every image that comes from this camera at night is going to be splendid. So there are some gripes that I've heard other people have about the Sony ZV-E1, and that is the EVF, the electronic viewfinder. They say that the viewfinder is not up to par with what a camera of this quality should have. And while this may be the case, and I can't say that uh, it is or not because I don't actually have the camera, but from what I've seen and from my use of other cameras in the Sony lineup with EVFs, I don't really know if the EVF matters that much to me. So it all depends on what your shooting preference is. That may be a caveat for a person to not buy the camera, but it shouldn't be a big one because to be honest, that camera is perfect. If I didn't own the A7S III or the ZV-1 or the A7 IV or the FX30 or the A6400, I would run out and I would buy that camera. I went to the camera store yesterday and they had one copy. My hand was like twitching. I was like, man, I really wanna buy this camera. I really wanna buy this camera, but I don't need the camera. That camera, the Sony ZV-E1, is the perfect vlogging camera. It's got the AI focusing system. It's got the... Uh, 12 megapixels inherited from the a7s3 it's got the picture profiles it's got the creative looks it's even got a section where you can dial up or dial down the intensity of the creative looks that you want so for people who are used to uh, working with uh, presets in lightroom how we dial up or dial down the intensity of the presets it's the same in the sony zve1 it's got the flip out screen and most importantly of all it's got this super sleek onboard mic my recommendation is to yes if you are in need for or if you are in need of a vlogging camera that checks all of the boxes and it's weather sealed even though i'm not too sure about that because the onboard mic is at the top of the camera on both the ZV-1 and the Sony ZV-E1. So if rain gets in there, if water gets in there, if moisture gets in there, it's probably going to have a detrimental effect to the insides of the camera. So I'm not sure if that camera is fully weather sealed or not, but hey, Sony says it is. We have no reason not to trust them. I mean, when have they ever steered us wrong? <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for joining us today. This was just a quick video, um, you know, not too specific, not getting into the technicalities of the camera, but just wanted to say that, yeah, if you want a new vlogging camera, if you're in the market for one and you don't want to break the bank, you can pick up the new Sony ZV-E1 for about, I think it's 20, here in Korea is 2.6 million won. So I think that's about 2.5 three so two thousand three hundred us dollars or something anyways i'll put the amount uh, in the video so you can know exactly where or how much it costs anyway guys thanks a lot for watching the video i hope you take care have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next the image eye video peace